Up straight, please. All hats are off and giving our full attention. so good to be with you to celebrate 200 years of Catholic education here in Australia. I'm told you're watching this from all around the country, from Xavier College up in the top end, to Sacred Heart School in Gidston in Tasmania, to St Finbar's at Byron, the most eastern part of the mainland, to St Mary's Star of the Sea in Carnarvon over in the west, Sacred Heart College in Alice Springs, and of course, in my part of the world, Dila down at Caringba. Catholic education has our country covered. 1,755 primary and secondary schools, 700,000 students, as well as early childcare. And of course, those great universities, ACU, Notre Dame, 200 years, what a milestone. Millions of Australians have been educated in your schools. You've helped create an Australia where we are today. Early this year, Pope Francis described education as an act of hope. So true. You, the young people of Australia, are the love of your family and you are the hope of our country. Since the day when Father John Therry set up that small school in Parramatta 200 years ago, your schools, early childcare and universities 
have been investing in that hope. I want you to know on this anniversary that you matter more than you can ever imagine. Australia needs the happiness, the joy and skills and passion that you give. So I want to encourage you, as your teachers and lecturers do every day, to be someone who gets involved, who shows responsibility, who looks out for others and is kind and respectful to other people. I hope you have a wonderful Mass and celebration and I'm grateful to you, your parents, your teachers, your lecturers and to the church for what you give to our country every single day. May God bless each and every one of you. Good afternoon and welcome to our students, staff, to the guests that are joining us and of course those who may be joining us online. Welcome to our celebration of 200 years of Catholic education in Australia. We come to to together today to pray in thanksgiving. The national theme, Faith in the Future, has been developed for this 200 year celebration. This theme reflects the core purpose of Catholic education to form students in their faith and provide an education that enables students to make a meaningful contribution to the world. This theme reflects our commitment to the great work of those who have come before us and to provide a Catholic education for future generations of students. Today, we remember the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, patroness of our diocese and of our country. together in saying the acknowledgement of country. As we come together today, we remember that we stand in footsteps millennia old. We acknowledge the Bindal people, the traditional custodians of this land, who have cared for this land for thousands of years, and pay your respects to their elders with us in watching over us. We recognize and respect their cultural connection and relationship with the land and its people and commit ourselves to the ongoing journey towards reconciliation. Oh, please stand. Southern land From the blood red Desert heart To the embrace of the Fearless ocean The spirit moves In us As it did in the Beginning A fire of God's love to light up This land Ooh. And we come From hearts of Let's 
Blessed be God who calls us together. Blessed be God forever. Let us begin our prayer with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty, ever-loving God, who placed the love of Our Lady Help of Christians in the hearts of those who brought the Catholic faith to these shores, grant, through her intercession, wisdom to our leaders and integrity to our citizens, so that, under her protection, Australia may know harmony, justice and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. If there are any wise or learned men among you, let them show it by their good lives, with humility and wisdom in their actions. But if at heart you have bitterness or jealousy or a self-seeking ambition, never make any claims for yourself or cover up the truth with lies. Principles of this kind are not the wisdom that comes down from above. They are only earthly, animal and, or devilish. Wherever you find jealousy and ambition, you find disharmony and wicked things of every kind being done. Whereas the wisdom that comes down from above is essentially something pure. It also makes for peace, and is kindly and considerate. It is full of compassion, and it shows itself by doing good. Nor is there any trace of pa partitionally or hypocrisy in it. Peacemakers, when they work for peace, sow the seeds which bear fruit in holiness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial psalm will be sung today. Please join in with the singing of the response. You are the highest honor of our. the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high. 
Shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. God grant you. Consider your one life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest honor of our race. Please quietly stand. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and went as quickly as she could to a town in the hill country of Judah. She went into Zechariah's house and greeted Elizabeth. Now as soon as Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. She gave a loud cry and said, Of all women, you are the most blessed and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Why should I be honoured with a visit from the mother of my Lord? For the moment your greeting reached my ears, the child in my womb leapt for joy. Yes, blessed is she who believed that the promise made by her, the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on the lowliness of his servant, Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hunger with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This 
this gospel reading from Luke called The Magnificat is Mary's song. I wonder if Mary knew the impact she was going to have on the world. Mary was the first educator of Jesus. She was the first teacher and through her teachings, we have hope for the future. Our faith comes through Jesus who has given that hope to us. Her immense faith gave her courage to follow what God had planned for her. All her attention is directed to God in praise of all that God has done and will do for all eternity. Let us pray that Mary, a woman of deep faith and love, will inspire and strengthen our faith so that we may grow in love and faith, that we may live more authentically with compassionate and humble hearts and give witness in this to the goodness of God. Gracious God, as Mary showed an unwavering faith in your divine plan, we bring our prayers before you, knowing that you will always listen. We give thanks for the endeavours of Catholic education in the past, with confidence in our Catholic preschools, schools and universities today, and with faith in their continuing contribution in the future, as we celebrate 200 years of Catholic education in this great seer. Lord, hear us. We thank you for your providential care for your children in this land in inspiring priests, religious and lay people to found and staff our schools in ages past. Through them, the good news of your son was brought to the young even in colonial times and ever since. Lord, hear us. We give thanks to Christ the teacher who guides the staff and leaders of Catholic education today. As they build on the achievements of their predecessors, direct them in their present efforts to ensure that every young Australian has the opportunity for an excellent education and formation in faith. Lord, hear us. May God's inspiring spirit lead us into the future. In the century ahead, grant those teaching and learning in our schools, those planning and leading, and the families and community that entrust their young people to us, a love of learning and a willingness to people the face of Christ in the world of tomorrow. Lord, hear us. Pour out your abundant blessings upon all involved in the ministry of Catholic education. Our Lady of the Southern Cross, pray for us. St. Mary of the Cross MacKillop, patron of Catholic education in Australia, Pray for us. Lord, hear us. Gracious God, hear the prayers we place into your loving care. We ask that you help us to live our lives more focused on the message of the gospel. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
to sing This great Southland is one heart we bring Please stand. Creator God, you made this great land of Australia and placed us under the patronage of Mary. May we look to her for inspiration so that we may truly praise God for all our blessings. We ask this prayer through Jesus, your son. Amen. May God keep our steps always and guide us always with faith in the future. May the Holy Spirit teach us all truth and make us messengers of the gospel and witnesses to his love to the world. Amen. We go forth now in the name of God, who is Father, Son, Holy Spirit, to spread the good news. Thanks be to God. Please remain standing and join in the recessional hymn. We are called to shine, shine, shine among them. We are called to shine, shine, shine like the stars above. We are called to shine, shine, shine among them. We are called to shine. shines in the fire of his words, a light of love for all the world to see, a shining star, a call for you and me, we are called to shine, shine, shine among them, we are called to shine, shine, shine like the stars above, we are called to shine. called to shine, shine, shine among them, we are called to shine, shine, shine like the stars above, we are called to shine, shine, shine among them, we are called to shine, shine, shine be a light of love. As stars of love, we are called to be strong. I call our song In this way too We must shine like stars Shine with God's love Wherever we are We are called to shine 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 among them We are called to shine Are called to shine, to be 
about to shine, shine, shine among them. We are called to shine, shine, shine like the stars above. We are called to shine, shine, shine among them. We are called to shine, shine, shine be a light. Okay, before we move off anywhere, I think Mrs. Dobbins is going to come forward. If we can get staff to move into the centre, we're just going to get a photo from up here of all students and staff. <laughs> 